Romans chapter 8 and verse 14 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. And the word led, of course in the Greek it means, uh, simply means to lead. And this word was often used to depict animals who were actually uh, had ropes tied around their necks and uh, they were led willingly. As long as these ropes were around their necks, they were led and their animals followed and willingly went wherever their masters asked them to or led them to go. So Paul uses this word in this verse and which suggests that um, we need to be as surrendered or we need to be so surrendered so, so as to be led by the Holy Spirit. Um, so the Holy Spirit when he leads us, the plans are his, the agenda are his, uh, the agenda is his and the steps you know, everything is His, so He leads us and we need to be in that place of uh, uh, willingly surrendering everything uh, to be led by Him. Um, but the fact is this, even though we, even though we as uh, believers, we have a sincere desire to be led by the Spirit of God to, because we know that He has all the wisdom, we know that He has, His plans for us are good and uh, they are beautiful. So. Sincerely, we desire as believers to be led by the Spirit of God. But the fact is that when He leads us, our human will uh, sometimes does not want to be led because it's not convenient or it is in conflict with some of the ideas that we have or some of the notions that we have. And our flesh actually rebels and resists the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit is willing, but the flesh rebels and resists. So, um, so this is, uh, so the thing is we need to consider a couple of things here. Uh, firstly, to truly enjoy fully or to fully enjoy our identity as sons and daughters, um, we need to fully surrender to be led by the Spirit of God because that's what the Word of God says that uh, they that are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. You know, if I need to fully enjoy that identity of mine as, as a son or you know as a daughter we need to fully surrender to be led by the Spirit and the second thing is also that uh, if I need to live life fully to the to the extent you know to the fullest of my potentials and gifting then I need to be led by the Spirit of God because the gifts come from Him the potentials come from Him the anointing is from Him so to live life fully to the fullest potential of the calling and the gifting, I need to be led. We need to be led by the Spirit of God. And to be led by Him and to follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit, it, it is the greatest privilege for us as children of God. A great adventure awaits each and every one of us on the other side of the door of obedience. So may we step in joyfully as we obey Him wholeheartedly following his leading. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've called us uh, as sons and daughters and uh, your word plainly declares that they that are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. And so Lord, we pray that we will live up to our full identity as sons and daughters, that we will live up to our full potential, Lord, of our call and the gifting, Lord, even as we willingly surrender to be led by you, to be led by the Holy Spirit. Lead us, Lord, Holy Spirit and we will follow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.